Alright, I'm gonna start this video by saying both of these games are very good in their own way, okay? Alright, so now I, if I see any comments saying Circle hates Fortnite or Circle hates Pug Pug I am going to come down there I'm gonna hit you with a spatula. Okay, can we get into the video now? Okay. There once was a game called PUBG, or as I like to call it, PUBG. It was a battle royale game where a hundred people jumped from a plane, got some loot, and battled it out until there was only one person left. And it barely fucking worked. But we were happy. Honestly, despite how poorly it ran, when this game was getting popular, everybody I knew was playing it. We were hungry for that chicken dinner! And when you finally tasted victory, it was so sweet. No other game has really had that feeling of like, oh my god, fuck yeah. Yeah, remember watching a hundred people jump from a plane? They are all gone because of me. Or maybe I just hid in the bush and then shot the last guy. But that doesn't matter. I am chowing down on some chicken dinner, and I know we want it. I know I know you eyeing this up. I know you looking at it, but it's all mine, baby. Mm, mm, it, this, wow, this chicken is fucking cold. But little did PUBG know. There was a force growing beneath them. Fortnite, another battle royale game. Well, actually, this game didn't start as a battle royale. It started as like a build a base tower defense zombie thing, but no one cared about that, so they just kind of went, eh, let's just add battle royale. And oh my god, everyone started playing it. I know I don't need to tell you how popular Fortnite is. I mean, V-Bucks is basically the new Bitcoin, but I got opinions on both of these games, so I'm gonna talk about them. And you already read the title of the video, so this is no surprise. I've had my chicken dinner dinners and I've had my victory royales. So whatever I'm gonna say, I feel like I'm saying it from a very fair point of view. And I'd just like to start by saying, holy shit, why does PUBG still barely work? Back when it was early access, this was kind of understandable, but we are way past early access now. I'm just trying to drive my fucking car, man. PUBG thrives on its like semi-realistic style gameplay, and you know what ruins that the fucking most? Glitching into a fucking barrel. I'm not even gonna touch on the subject of how this game ran on consoles. I, what, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> and now at this point, I was kind of fed up with PUBG, so I figured, you know what, I'm just gonna try Fortnite, and uh... Holy shit, it's so fun! Oh my god, like, oh, wow, what the f Keep in mind, I started playing this game way before it was kind of like a fad, and I enjoyed every single second of it. It wasn't that I was playing it and having fun because it was popular, I was playing it because it was really fucking fun. I could feel myself getting better at the game with every loss. I learned how to use weapons effectively, I learned how to build faster, I mean, I just got better at the game, by playing it. PUBG does not have that same feeling. At least when I lose in Fortnite, I'm like, okay, it was because he built a castle above me and then shot me in the head with a shotgun. But when I die in PUBG, I feel like it's just because I trespassed in the fields of Mr. Hides and Grass McShoots my ankles. <laughs> the amount of fun I have in PUBG is so outweighed by the feeling of Oh, come on. That I kind of just stopped playing it entirely. A lot of people pin Fortnite's success on the fact that it's free to play, but I think that's really unfair. If we're saying a game can succeed only because it's free to play and not from its quality, then Paladins right now should be destroying Overwatch. And that game has Bomb King. At the time of recording this, PUBG has lost over half of its player base on PC, and that's entirely because of Fortnite. And I think PUBG is handling this like a big baby. Not only did they they sue a company for putting a fucking frying pan in their game. Oh yeah, great job guys, you were definitely the first, Def definitely the first ones to do that, uh-huh. <laughs> but they're now also suing Epic Games because Fortnite is similar. Even though both these games are in the same genre, I think we can all agree that they are very different. I mean, one of them actually works. <laughs> but Fortnite ain't no perfect game either, alright? Gun RNG is fucking dumb. Hitboxes are questionable at best. And Thanos punched me. <laughs> So, which game is better, uh, Fortnite or, uh, PUBG? <laughs> Play them both and find that out for yourself, okay? I mean, you can like whichever one you want, just my recommendation is to play them both, and, uh, if you don't like one, be prepared to be assaulted on the internet because, oh, jeez, what, opinions in my household? Personally, I prefer Fortnite because I feel it rewards skilled players more than PUBG, but comment down below your favorite and why it's your favorite, and maybe a fun moment you had while playing it. PUBG will always have a special place in my heart, but I think we can agree a bad thing that came out of both of these games. Every fucking game needs a battle royale mode now. Not even Battle Right was safe. That game was sacred. Honestly, I'm surprised Angry Birds hasn't jumped on this. 